understand Four or five, sitting on my dresser like a bed Oh my, why you scared? There ain't no need to be and this episode of Noonish is brought to you by J.W. Compass, Screwball Peanut Butter Whiskey, mm. High Energy Models and Events, The Original Shot Sock, not without my shot socks, and Specs, Wine, Spirits, and the Finer Foods. Man. <laughs> Welcome to Season 3 of Noonish, y'all. Man, we are so excited to bring to you this awesome show today. First, I'd like y'all to go out, like, share, and subscribe this episode, whether you're on Facebook, YouTube, whatever platform you're watching currently, y'all go and like, share, and subscribe to this thing, man. Man, we back, y'all. That's a nice long break right there. That was a nice long break. good. I'm your host, J.A., a.k.a. Jonathan Anderson, coming at you with our awesome co-host, starting with Mr. Jonas Bull. I like to call him El Grande Toro in the house. Oh, bringing him back. <laughs> hey, the bullhorns go nowhere. They go nowhere. And you also know who's in the building. Man, this half man, half amazing. Always on time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My boy uh, MC, Mark up, Clayton man? in the house, uh, man. Mr. Hands. Hey, you know we got the PD man. coming yeah, up, man. Absolutely. We got we got one more exciting special guest. To introduce you, I don't needs no introduction. You know, we wait. Everybody want to know what Ray's take is, but hey, oh. but man, this is Mr. Ray Edwards in the house, First man. Of all, that good. I was looking for somebody else coming through the door. <laughs> hey, <laughs> man, hey, bro, us, yeah. hey, man, you know, hey, I'm glad, Ray I'm glad we saw you. You you so fast, dog. It's hard to see this man hey. at times, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fly right by you like the flash. Flash. Okay, let's uh, let's turn that. Let's turn, turn that, that mic on. Oh, okay. Oh, there it is. There Guess it is. what? What's that? That's usually we how here. I start stuff off. Hey, we on there. We on. <laughs> we on. Like, man, we see me first. Yeah, bro. See me. So, then hear me. Right. What's good, <laughs> man? What you been up to, bro, man? It's a lot. See a lot has, has started up since the last time we was meeting funny. around this table, bro. Man, first of all, uh, congratulations to y'all for season three. I appreciate That's it, man. Pretty amazing. I, I like. I like the, the. I like that the only thing that really stayed the same in here. Was that right there? Yeah, that's yeah, the screwball. Screw yeah, the screwball. Right right I'm glad y'all. Right. I like all right the new stuff. Speaking of, right. hey, Speaking before of. we get started, how about one of the FPED? You know, forms and hands and toes. You know, screwball whiskey in the house. Yeah, yeah. Outside of that, I love started. everything. I love the setup. I love all this stuff, man. Good. For me, it, man. I'm gonna tell you right now. I don't know where I'm at. Yeah. I've been on two different time zones. Man. I've been on Tokyo time zone. I've been on America time zone. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering how the, how the footage coming out. Look, look here. Like, is it nighttime? Man, listen, watching? look here, man. I don't have these glasses on because I'm I'm trying to be cool. Yeah. I have these glasses on because I don't want y'all to see these bags underneath my eyes, <laughs> these red eyes I got. Yeah. I'm, I'm caffeined up because yeah. like the whole Tokyo time, I've I've had to report like literally right after mm. the events that went off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the events are going off. In the morning, you know, because they a whole week ahead. Yeah. When it's, you know, <laughs> I'm up at five right. in the morning to catch the, the semis uh -huh. and then the finals. And then I still have to be in America and then do all my stuff at the gym all day. Yep. And then right. as soon as I get done with the gym at 7.38, now it's the next day over there. Man. And now Tokyo starting in the morning. So I'm up all night watching races and then I'm reporting those races. Yeah, Tokyo, oh, wow. I've been getting like four hours of sleep. I'm about ready for the closing ceremony. No sleep. Wow. Y'all don't hear my voice. I'm losing it now. Hey, it's all right. good, you man. can't lose hey. no voice, boy. Let me man. tell you, you've you been entertaining these people, man, with some, some good information. And we're going to get to those Olympics after a while, bro. But how you liking it, man? The whole race, like, it kind of just jumped off and took off real quick, didn't it? Man, it was. it actually took off by mistake. Yeah. Like, literally, I was in, <laughs> I was in a Facebook uh, group and... It was right when track season started when Shakari was, you know, dropping those fast times. Yep. So I was debating with somebody in a group and I was like, I know too much about track and field. I got too much to say yeah. for these thumbs. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I was like, you know, I'm going to do a YouTube video. Mm -hmm. So I did a YouTube video about what I was trying to explain in the group and then I dropped it back in the group like, mm -hmm. here, this is what I was trying to say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then that YouTube video ended up getting like a thousand some views and people was, you know, commenting mm -hmm. on and everything. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? Instead of me... um. Type in the things I have to say in this group. <laughs> I'm just gonna start doing videos. Yeah. And then what ended up happening was, and like I did like the first four videos, and they all hit like over a thousand, two thousand, three thousand. Wow. 
And the group that I was in, I was putting it in, they kind of had a problem with it because the track and field group. And they was like, you can't be in here promoting yada, yada, yada. I'm like, I'm not promoting nothing. I don't even make yeah. no money off this. I just, I'm a long-winded person. I can't yeah. text it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Long story short, they ended up um, kicking me out of that group. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. That, so that was still on Facebook. Yeah, it was on Facebook. They wow. ended up, they ended up, yeah. they ended up kicking me out of that group. Yeah, um, more, more Facebook censorship. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So <laughs> Facebook didn't do it. Uh, some of the, the community. The but community. You, had yeah. a, you, you had a situation with YouTube, didn't you? I had a situation with YouTube as like well. You, so you moved it from Facebook to YouTube. Added, yep. And you still yep. got the boot. Well, no, YouTube. YouTube, got, YouTube. I beat YouTube. Yeah, but, but I'm saying, but they gave you the boot like. Well, it, wasn't, it really wasn't you. There was this year. It really wasn't YouTube. It was um another media outlet that does track and field stuff. Oh, mm. Do they do it on YouTube? They do or? it on YouTube as okay. well. Okay. And and what happened was they had so YouTube. You guys know if you get three copyright claims, you're done. Yeah. So they they actually gave me. Two of them, right? One of them it was when I first started and I didn't understand the rules or whatever. Yeah. So the two copyright claims they gave me, I didn't take the footage from their um actual platform. Um, platform. Yeah. So I'm emailing them and I'm and I'm telling them. So I get on I'm on Twitter and I'm blasting them about, hey man, like y'all need to fix this because I didn't take your stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So then they they um I contacted YouTube, I did a counterclaim, and, and yeah. then they wrote me back and was like, um, well, you pretty much, the, the company, you pretty much got three options of what you can do. One was like, you can cease and desist, or two, you can get an attorney, you know, to fight your claim, yeah. or three, you can pretty much just cease and desist. Another, yeah. mm-hmm. wow. They pretty much t- tried a bully tactic. So really two mm-hmm. options. Yeah, mm-hmm. but they didn't know that I actually had an attorney. That, yeah. was, that, was, that, that was the funny part. Yeah. So then when I responded back, I responded back with, I tag, uh, tag my attorney in this email, you guys can go forward with it from there. At the end of the day, my attorney was like, just sum it up, y'all don't really want to go to court. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> yeah. So no, they don't. They ended up taking the claims off, yeah. and then they also ended up saying, you know, we pretty much would like for you to help us now. Yeah. Yeah, so they went from banning wow. me to asking for my help. Wow. Yeah, it was pretty cool. My so lawyer's how, how's that? Shout so, out to my lawyer. Shout out so to now, the lawyer. Is there, a monetary, is there monetary value there, from that agreement? Um... I would go with yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. As long as I stay within the, the, the rules of what we've agreed upon, which yeah. is um they want me to if I'm talking about races, they would like me to use their footage. Um gotcha. but they pretty much to make it make sense, they didn't want me airing whole races because right. that's what they have a license to do, which right. I understood oh, once they explained you. it to me. Gotcha. And they was like, you're airing the entire race before anybody can get it because I got connections. Yeah. Why? Because yeah. I got people there like, hey, record that for me. And so then, mm. you know, yeah. it was just matching. And, you know, by the end got of the day, we got, it all, we got it all figured out. I got it all situated. And, I, like, you know, you bro, like, I'm sitting here wondering. I'm like, all right, so he watching it. I'm flipping the channels. Like, how's this dude watching this right now? It ain't even, <laughs> it's not even on TV yet. Yeah, it ain't. It ain't. It ain't. And yeah, that was, that's the beauty of Ray's take for track and field because I'm, I'm able to, and that's why, like, in my first 45 days, I don't know anything about YouTube analytics and nothing like that, but everybody yeah. kept telling me, they was like, bro, you goaded YouTube. I was like, what are y'all talking about? You hit over a thousand subscribers in like two weeks. Yeah, that's crazy, that's bro. That's not normal. Mm-hmm. That's what I was doing. I was like, absolutely not. And then when I hit the three thousand marker, like last week, I hit three thousand with the first um, two months. Yeah. yeah. And so I'm for me because I'm not doing it for the subscriptions. I'm right. doing it because yourself. yeah, like yeah. this is what I'm I got trying to, to express say. myself. And I'm trying a, to talk about. And you hit a niche space that not too many people are focusing on in yeah. track. Yeah. yeah. A, lot, yeah. a lot of people love. It. I think if you yeah. don't like track, you start watching Ready Stay. Yeah. And you'll start liking track because <laughs> of race. Yeah. I appreciate yeah. you saying that because yeah. a, a lot of people have reached out to me and said just that. Like, man, no I ain't, I never even really watched track, but after watching your show, now I'm starting to like actually yeah. watch oh, track sure. because I can understand it now. Yeah. And, and that was my whole reasoning for having yeah. race take. I was like, no, nah, bro, like, it's too much misinformation on track and field. And that's why, as athletes in track and field, we don't get the the sponsorships that we need. We don't get mm. the, you know, the love mm-hmm. that we actually deserve because most people think that, like I told y'all when I was here yeah. on that show, people think that we train for the Olympics only, not understanding right. that we got like a whole season. Yeah. So my whole thing was to to bridge that gap to where, you know, people in America, because worldwide they know this. Mm-hmm. America just don't know this. So my whole thing was bringing track and field to the living rooms of the average American so they understand yep. what it is, yeah. you mm-hmm. know, and just, just help push the sport forward. And I'll say this, the one thing that, 
you know, being able to get people like Trayvon Bromel, you know, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. when everybody's like, what happened? What's going on? Like, I mean, you name it, ESPN, everybody want to know what happened. And then he's like, I'm going to go to Ray's take. And yeah. I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna tell y'all through Ray's take, you know, yeah. that type of stuff. Even with Fred Curley, you That's know, before well. he got his silver medal, he yeah. came on the show. And then as soon as he got his, like, I'm going back on Ray's take. Yeah. You know, so to be able to get those type of interviews and, Real time and, and people, right now even, even, yeah, even yeah. When, when Shakari stuff happened, you know, yeah. to be able to go straight to John Drummond and say, hey, come on my show and clear it up yeah. so people can understand it. Former Grace yeah. Prep coach. Yeah, yeah. And you kind of just – Went over it real quick, and so the whole Shakari situation is very similar to Shikari. the Shakari. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, well, I call it Shakari. Well, I gotta, I gotta right. check you because they checked me for months. Right. Okay, so <laughs> I'm, I'm checking everybody. Like, hey, I'm checking right. everybody. Right. Oh, Shakari, Shakari from now on. Shakari, Shakari from now Shikari. on. Mm. Uh, R.I.P. Shakari. Mm. Uh, so Shakari, the whole situation with Shakari, uh, very similar to what happened with Simone Biles, right? But in a, from a different perspective, different aspect of it, right? Completely different, but kind yeah. of similar. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm saying from the mental side of things, right? It's a yeah. mental health situation okay. that, that yeah. caused both of those happenings to happen, right? So how do you feel about that whole Shakiri situation that took place, right? Um, and does the does the does the board or the whole Olympic committee do they need to change some things about some rules in that thing from your perspective? The answer to that question is yes, but I won't blame the Olympic committee. I blame USADA. More mm -hmm. than anything, because yep. USADA is the ones that's in charge. They're in charge of the anti. They're in charge of the entire rule list of what you can and cannot do. Yeah. And I fought them more than anything because mm -hmm. back in 2004, if she, if this was 2000, no, let me say it right. If it was 2003, she would have been able to compete. Basically, the reasoning isn't because they feel like it's a um, performance enhancement drug. Cause it was literally a drug then, you know, yeah, like right. like at that point, yeah, you yeah, yeah. weed, you know, you yeah, go yeah, to jail. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So they did it for that reason, and now what everybody is saying, like, hey, you know, marijuana laws aren't the same. Yeah, I, I, I'm on I'm on the fence now. It's like, well, it <laughs> actually is a performance enhancement drug. Yeah, but. It's more of a drug. Technically, it's not performance, yeah. Technically, it's, 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 it's not performance no. enhancing. I mean, what drug is not performance enhancing? Is what I'm Touché. getting. There you go. Psychologically, right? there you go. So, there you go. Like, I, I, well, yeah. and and beyond that, it's, now they're talking about some of the some of the Nike shoes and, mm -hmm. and some of the other like I think Adidas has a pair that they're talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, calling like the shoes that I got on right now. Logical, <laughs> yeah. advanced enhancing, yeah. Yeah. yeah, product. And I'm like, <laughs> like okay, performance enhancing product. You, you, do we just have everybody run barefoot? I mean, what's the... We can take it back. I mean, it's, the, it's certain shoes that they're banning, bro. Like, you right. can't wear a certain pair of Nikes in long-distance races. I saw that. Just it, it, level the playing so, field, so looks, and you'll see. It's so yeah, hard that to looks level obvious, the playing field and track right? field. It, yeah. yeah. But, but yeah. look at the look at the weightlifter. They mm -hmm. got the grip stuff. Yep. Chalk. LeBron I mean, James. Yep. Right. So so all of that stuff is performance enhancing. Yeah. yeah. Really. Yes. The little leotards they wear versus the, the shorts that Carl Lewis used to yeah. wear back in the day. <laughs> yeah. On race take you either Jack, which is you know is a cool person, or you're a stupid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Track and field is ran by a bunch of stupids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like what you're saying is like, why would you ban a shoe that's gonna give somebody you know an extra advantage? Exactly. Okay. So does that mean can, when you play football, mm -hmm. if you put on some gloves, is that extra advantage? Exactly. Did they try and ban it? Nope. No, they say all the other people can win. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody can win. Or, 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 or if, if somebody do games, feel more right? confident without them hoes, mm -hmm. they don't want to wear them. Yeah, yeah. it's their choice. It's their choice. Your choice. Yeah. Yeah. Your choice. Yeah. Yeah. In track and field, I feel like, and that's what, again, why I created a race take. Athletes don't have a single voice at all because an average athlete would be like, nah, I want the option. Don't tell me. No, you can't because it's going to help you run faster. Yeah. I'm trying to run faster, <laughs> That's the whole point. I want to run faster. Yep. So they're saying it's unfair because Nike has created they it, so a, we got to ban it. competitive no, advantage. No, exactly. That ain't, nah. That's not that's Nike's <laughs> fault. That's your fault. Yeah. Right. HR. Yeah. You got to go hire a smarter person. Exactly. <laughs> like, go, go get that designer yeah, team yeah, up go get, up, get the designer <laughs> team up. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't no such thing. It's, you better get some stickers yeah. and some yeah. Nikes. And, yeah. Yeah. Well, now we're getting into your 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 Formula One field. Yeah, for real, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Field, we just got man. better. Sorry, yeah. like, we got yeah. better tech. Exactly. Like, yeah. right. exactly. We, we may sorry, not sorry. Later, hmm. Right. So, so they're saying that, that some of these some of these performance enhancing drugs are long term dangerous to the athlete. Mm -hmm. What what uh, you as somebody who's who's been at the, competed at that level, and and you guys too, but but just like what's your take on that? Like, how do you feel about that particular aspect of it? They're they're actually one hundred percent correct. You know. But I always like to again play devil's advocate, but then I always I always use the term be fair. Okay. Right. We all know that um this right here, 
We're, we're enjoying it. Okay? <laughs> right. Right, right. It's delicious. It's yep. going to get us to a certain point where we got to say stop. Yep. Yeah, right? That's right. Yep. If you don't say stop, stop. Yep. then guess what? It's yep. your damn fault. It ain't going to be good. <laughs> exactly. Just because you may have one athlete that may take it overboard, just like right. we're drinking. You may have right. one yep. person take it overboard and go yep. get a DUI or, yep. you yep. know. Or a lot. Or, or a tank. You know, or something like or that. Run through the quad butt naked. Thank you. <laughs> you don't need to punish everybody and say, well, take look off the shelf completely then. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. You just put a label on it. Yeah. I've always said that when it comes to performance enhancing drugs, you put the label on it and say, hey, this can cause like this. Like cigarettes. It yeah. says this can cause cancer. Now, yes. it's up to you. You want to buy this or not. Exactly. But we told you. Exactly. I don't feel like it should be your solid discretion to tell people what they can and cannot put in their body. Yeah. Ooh, so yeah. Just, let me just say this right here. I really feel like you need to take completely take drug off of that. Yeah. Because it needs to just be performance enhancement. Because when you add the title drug, it automatically spins a negative connotation yep. on no matter yeah, what. Absolutely. It just needs to be performance yeah. enhancement. It needs to be in the hands of the athletes to decide what and what they can and cannot take. Say, I don't know if people know this, but I'm saying on y'all show because I've said it on my show and people in track and field didn't know it. We're not all governed by the same laws and rules right. mm -hmm. okay. at all whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Like, So water sends out a complete list of what you can and cannot take, and it's mm -hmm. the World Anti-Dopa Agency, right? Yeah. It's up to that country to administer that, though, because water don't come. Right. So it's up to America to administer the, the rules. Group, it's yeah. up to Jamaica to administer the mm. rules. It's up to Denmark to administer the rules. Mm -hmm. It's up to so, whatever Canada, whatever right. country so you're in. So if those countries are not administering these rules, these these athletes can be sweeping, dibbling and dabbling and in whatever. These, with these substances HGH. all up until this time for the mm -hmm. actual, where they've already received the, re the results from the substance, but now they just have to pass this Olympic Committee Which you're going to pass is, now right? because you knew how much time it, it because was. Because you knew how much time you had to but get off. But you already mm -hmm. received the benefits. You already got the benefits of it now. Yep. Why do you and, have Oh, yeah, when it's in your system, it's already, yeah, it, you, you got you the benefits that because your actual um, doping agency for your country didn't administer the rules. Yeah. They yeah. was like, okay, we got the list. Oh, man. We're never going to test you, though. <laughs> that's, that's, like, that's, like a, that's like that's like that's like a private organization versus a public organization. You got a lot more red tape with these public organizations than you do in these private organizations. Yep. So if your organization is the United States of America, you got a lot of red tape. Thank you. One of these smaller countries that doesn't really have the infrastructure that we have set up here, the government that we have set up here, they're not going to have as much red tape. Nope. No okay. not at all. All right, so this this is why we got so many silver medals. <laughs> We're like king of the silver and bronze yeah, this like, Olympics, look, dog. Look, I'll tell you like this here. And I don't give a damn because I said on my show. Yeah. For Team USA, this was probably our cleanest Olympics. Mm. Yeah, and we still As competing. far as the athletes, it's yeah. probably our cleanest Olympics ever. And yeah. I'm going all the way back. To uh, you can take it all the way back to '88. Yeah, seventeen year old got yeah, fourth place in a hundred. Yeah, and, and, uh, in the two hundred. In the two hundred. Night and did. Night Now again, I'm not saying that any other country had to always get this. American. I'm kids. not saying no other country is taking stuff. I'm just saying make your own decision based off yeah. the information I'm giving. Hey man. <laughs> that's yeah. hey, man. That's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. So, uh, so I, I was looking forward to watching you run, dog. Like, and I saw you starting your training in preparation, bro, because mm -hmm. like, you were gonna run for Nigeria, correct? Mm -hmm. I'm glad and, I didn't, but keep going. And you had an injury, right? Mm -hmm. Is that I had, I had a couple of them? Is that what is that what kept you from running in yep. the Olympics? Yeah. So, so what happened, bro? Well, actually, that age, Father Time. Dog. It wasn't Father Time, man. It was, <laughs> it was. It was. It was. It was stupidity. You yeah. know. Um, going too. So hard? I will say, uh, Father Time. I will say that because Father Time made me stupid because now I'm realizing, and, and it's not that I'm forty. Yeah. Okay. It's the time that I've put on these legs and my body getting prepared. I mean, because I got to tell everybody, it was 21 years ago when I ran 10-1. Yeah. Literally, I ran 10-14 21 years ago. 21? And then uh, 2003, damn. I ran 10-0. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, you ran 10-0. Yeah, so, like, I've been running yeah. like for over 18 years. Every single year, I've been putting my body through the ringer. Yeah. And it's just like, even though at 40, I feel Sheesh. good, I can do tear, stuff, that wearing tear is what got me. Gotcha. So man. I went out one day, doing, getting ready to do a heel uh, workout, but... The people I trained was doing it, and you know they always talk trash. So I got in it. I was like, man, I will show y'all. Mm -hmm. Granted, I did dust them, yeah. but at the account of me tearing the muscle in my foot, yeah, right. immediately. And then once that was healed, 
I got so super strong from doing upper body stuff, I went out to my first track meet and I literally ripped my deltoid. Wow. Mm. Right here. I had two oh. tears. I went and got an MRI and everything. Running? Like, yeah, I got the MRI and everything. I had two tears right here. Like from doing from be- here to doing that. Yeah. Like rapidly over and over and over again. First track meet. When this was all over with, shh, and I was like, I, as soon as I felt it, I was like, that ain't something right. ain't right. Yeah. And then I got like 10 meters out, and then I just kind of started doing this, and I was like, it's torn. Like, I knew it. I was yeah, like, yeah. I mean, I've been running for so long. You know when you shit know torn, like, body. it's torn. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I went right to my medical staff that was there, and then I said, Cammy, it's torn. It's torn. Mm-hmm. And then I, she was like, doing this, just trying to raise. She was like, raise. I was like, it ain't raising. She was like, yeah, it's probably going to be torn. Man. And then when it got the MRI, it's like, yep. Two of them right here. Yeah. And then my dumb tail was like, you know what? My leg's still good. So I got my team to yeah. shoot me up. But when I got shot up, yeah. it was with cortisone. Yeah. I, I that, ain't get shot with no long, yeah. Yeah. Cortisone? Yeah, so I didn't feel it. So that was it? it? That's all I got. I got That's cortisone. All got. I, no, I'm, I'm lying. I got cortisone and uh, um, anesthesia. Yeah. So he gave me an anesthesia shot and a cortisone shot because I only had two races that I could, you know, try and qualify in. Yeah. So when I went out there, when he first gave me the cortisone anesthesia shot, I felt nothing in the hallway. I was like, oh, it's going to work. And then he was like, so? yeah, but when you get done, you it's going to be gone, gone. Yep. Yep. So then, Maybe make a long story short, he, he timed the window wrong because it wore off before I got there. Oh, Ooh. Lord. Oh, Ooh. my God. And then as soon as I got ready to start practicing yeah. and I ripped it, and oh, that, yeah. oh no. No go? No Couldn't go. even do it, man. Game time. Game, game set match. Then, like yeah. I told my clients, I'm, I may not be in Tokyo, but you best believe my name is floating yeah. all the way through yeah, Tokyo. Right yeah, so yeah. I'm still there in spirit. That's man, all that matters to me. That's, that's crazy, man. I I'm say, a, like, that's a it's a blessing how things even <coughs> happen without even trying. Like, you just started Ray's Take without that, you, just by what happened on Facebook, just going mm-hmm. and starting something, now the following, mm-hmm. and now you're getting interviews from people that they in Tokyo that the, the large networks wish they could. Yeah. And had none yeah. of this stuff taken place, you know, you never would have yeah. possibly never would have started any of this stuff. Right. God always has a plan. That's all I like exactly. to say. What I'm doing now, I love ten times more than if I had been over there running. You're like, you're having fun, bro. Oh, I'm I'm having <laughs> man, y'all have no idea how much fun it is because it's like I'm still connected to the sport but from you know from distance. a different way. Yeah, yeah. A little distance. If it wasn't for the athletes, I'm not gonna say athlete, if it wasn't for the athletes and the fans, man, right. I wouldn't even be doing it because yeah. it's like everybody just gravitated to to yeah. me. Like right. to yeah. race take. I right. mean magnetic. everybody. Like right. magnetic is what right. we call it. Literally, even Trayvon when he was on the show, Trayvon told me, Sarah, I'm gonna be honest with you. Every time you dropped the Rays take, I watched it. Yeah. I done motivated you in a champ yeah. the whole season <laughs> yeah. to keep pushing it. But I heard those stories from Shakari from Shakari Camp from everybody. Like the minute I was saying something like, "Nope, that ain't it," yeah, they would yeah. go back and be like, "All right, mother yeah. Yeah. Like, even yeah. Shakari, like when she came back and dropped that 20, 21 and two hundred and pointed, everybody was like, "You know she was talking to you." I was like, "Yeah, I know." <laughs> <laughs> Uh, like, yeah, bro, that's your personality though. Like yeah. it's, like, it's like it's like that DB that just talk shit. Yep. Like he just loud. Like <laughs> yeah. no, it, it just make you want to just do shit. Like, yeah, I, yeah. like I got yep. it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yep. Yeah. And then soon you do it, that DB like, all right, you got me. He's yeah. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, that's good. That's, that's good. What I said, well, it's a win win no matter what. Yeah. Because if if they don't like what I'm saying and they want to shut me up, does that hurt them? Nope. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. If you hear what I'm saying because they've all, you know, kind of said, no, he know what you're talking about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you see the stuff I'm talking about and you go fix it, it's a win for you. Going yeah. back. So we've been talking about, you know, doping and regulating the mm-hmm. sport and so on and so forth. So how I want to talk about like vaccination. Like the you, you kind of see the mandatory mm-hmm. vaccination coming downhill. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about that in regards to that decision should be the athletes and or their families? Um, it's um our civic duty to be vaccinated, not because of us or we're afraid of or whatever, but so that we don't be walking around as a loaded gun. You know what I'm saying? And like I told people that mm-hmm. before, I I I told you I'm strongly against vaccinations. Why? Yeah. Because if you just have a healthy lifestyle, healthy diet, you know, and take care of yourself, you don't need a vaccination. Mm-hmm. I get that part, mm-hmm. but sometimes I feel like in this situation, you have to almost sacrifice your your know-how for mankind because yeah. it's not a lot of people that's smart enough to take care of themselves so it's like well damn i'm gonna do it just so i don't be walking around with a loaded gun as far as the athletes that you know track and field athletes i'll say 
sadly, yeah, man, the vaccination sucks, but because we gotta travel so much, yep. it's like it's like it's a double edged sword. We can't win we can't with win the vaccination. We cannot yeah. win because yeah. no, it's not gonna help our bodies. It's gonna hurt our bodies by yeah. getting that vaccination, no matter what. That's yeah. crazy. But then at the same time, because we travel so much. We the ones that's really walking around like loaded guns. Like yeah. think about right now, they all the way in Tokyo, and then some of them gonna stop in other countries and other mm-hmm. countries. So you are actually more prone to catching it as a track athlete. Yeah. When you say loaded gun, what do you mean by that? Well, because what I mean by walking around with a loaded gun, right now I know two people that got COVID, right? Yeah. And from all the information I've understood about COVID, is it's passed by person to person. Yeah. Okay, I'm healthy as hell, so it's not going to bother me if I catch it. I just got to stay inside, right? But if I got it and I go around, you know, an elderly person who has, you know, pre-existing conditions, then now I'm a loaded gun because if I go around them and I got it and don't know it and I just say, hey, how you doing? And, you know, I'm in Whole Foods and I breathe on them and now this person catches and they die, I was the gun that shot them. So what about people with the shot that still get it and give? Nah, I'm glad you asked that. Because mm-hmm. guess what? <laughs> Same person I know that got it now. <laughs> so had it twice and the shot. Wow. So CDC, Bro. DC, whoever got a safe hey. got talk to me. Now, well, yeah. I can tell Great. y'all. Yeah. They got three, four versions of his iPhone. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> it ain't I ain't enough. Yeah, I want them. Yeah. Yeah. Cause, cause, I know people yeah. with you know the I shot. Did, yeah, know I did still call it. That got and give. <laughs> I was waiting for you. Man, I know you did. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. So I did. I did do the research, and there is, you know, it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like birth control. Mm. It's ninety five percent effective. Mm-hmm. That means it's five percent not effective at all. Ninety five percent effective <laughs> yeah. in what regard? You well, won't get it ever. Ninety five percent after getting the vaccine that, that you won't get it. That, that if you get the vaccine, that you won't get a symptomatic version of it, or you'll get a less bad version of it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey, Ray, as you know, you've been in sports. You know this is. <laughs> You no, know, no, sports and tech, right? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. we got some a few a few sports topics to knock out, man. That's a lot going on. We can't mm-hmm. get to all of them and get in depth on them all. But Renee, you ready for this? We about to go fast and furiously, bro. <laughs> fast and furious. Fast and furious, furious Jack. Tokyo drip. <laughs> Tokyo Drift edition of Nunes right here. <laughs> all right, so we start with this NBA man, Luka Doncic. Man, they say when he gets back from his currently seventeen and zero. Olympic uh, run right now with his mm-hmm. Slovenian basketball team, mm-hmm. bro. He's got a two hundred and two million dollar waiting five year extension waiting. Rightfully so. Uh, is it five or four? Years? And Trey Young, right? yeah, Trey Young and got two hundred and seven. Yeah, Thank kid, good, Steph, good Curry. Curry. Steph Curry got Steph ridiculous. Curry got the two hundred and fifteen million. Let's go four years. Let's go, that's bro. That's fifty million. That's amazing. Bro. Like, NBA is. What you say? I love it, bro. Yeah, that's they that's cashing awesome. Out right now, Steph man. Steph worth it. So Trey's worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if y'all saw this morning, Kemba Walker signing with the Knicks. Yeah. I like that, Yeah, actually. bro. So he, he I like that. his uh, opportunity to play with, I think, Oklahoma City. DeRozan, he's up in Chicago now. With, he went up there with, with, with Ball. Ball. Yeah. And then yep. Le- Levine. Yep. yep. Ain't, ain't none of it going to okay. matter. Hey, because nah. you know, them L.A. Lakers. Nah. The Thank L.A. You. Lakers. Ain't none of them nah. don't matter. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, the like, other NBA and, the Bro- and, and the Brooklyn Nets. Yeah, it's them two. Yesterday, L.A. picked up. Straight up. They picked up Carmelo Anthony LA yesterday. They picked up Jesus, yep. Moses, right, and Muhammad. <laughs> <laughs> they they said they got an average <laughs> team age right now. Average is thirty two and a half. Jesus, years. Moses, and Muhammad. And right, but hey, they picked up Dwight Howard. Oh yeah. They got uh, Bazemore. Yep, Bazemore like yeah. He yeah. come off the bench. And, yeah. There ain't no punk. There ain't no punk. Yeah. They Mello. got Melo. Melo. When he uh-huh. brought up Russell Westbrook. Mm. 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 Energy. Go along mm. with LeBron and AD that's already on okay. camera. Hey, there's yeah. no way you can beat that team. Because yeah, it is. No. Yes. How? It, it, how? On no. There's only one ball. Don't I'm forget t- that. Yeah, I'm going to tell, tell you, you can't beat that team. Mm. Because that team, it's just like I said on Ray's mm. take. It's different when you have talent and you have championship experience. Yeah. That's two totally different things because talent only going to take you so far. Yeah. In order for you to win anything, especially basketball, you're going seven games, seven games, seven games, that's a different experience. That's a different mindset. Yeah. So the reason why I'm saying nobody can beat them boys is because they. That's, I feel like this is the first time you've had actual all-star veterans who are all smart on the court. Yeah. So now you got people who what? aren't relying Lakers on the did that before? Russell. Gary Payton. Carl Malone, and who, who was uh, Charles Barkley, Scottie Pippen? Yeah, come on. Yeah, but that's that like thirty-five. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. 
Westbrook. Okay, so you no, have to compare Gary Payton to Russell Westbrook. Because he, he can't. <laughs> 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 no, neither one of them. That tell you no. No, what I'm saying is, they were just straight veterans. That's what I'm saying. It's a team of veterans. Good, that's fine. Then you know you also got Chris Paul. Down there in Phoenix, he re-signed four years. So he's $475 million of contracts is what that man I has wouldn't took it. That's awesome. I like it, it. is, but if I'm Chris Paul, I wouldn't have re-signed, man. Why not? That's, I don't a, that's a young That's team. not going to be a ring? No, man. I'm just – because to me, at certain po- when you get to a certain point, it has to stop being about the contract. You got to stop being about the money. Bro, you ain't got to dribble a ball ever again, and your family gonna forever be good. So but he was. He but was where he fun. going? That's a, that, where he going. Man, I what? went somewhere for free to get me a ring. LeBron, Who? call where? me, Jack. Uh, so what you, you want me to do? Uh, I'm so just gonna sit gonna down. Gonna I'm going to LA. If I'm Chris Paul, why not? Yeah, I'm with you on that. I'm going to LA, man. I wish Chris Paul would have gone to LA. Yeah, I'm gonna sit down. And that that makes more sense than Westbrook to me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that made a hell of a lot more sense. Yeah, if they had a guy Chris Paul, it would have been like, oh wow. Yeah, that would have been a while. I would have been like, yeah, they're they're bad. Yeah. He that guy. You're that guy, man. Miami Heat, they went out and got P.J. Tucker, Tucker mm-hmm. and Kyle Lowry. That's so, big. Yeah, I mean, they, they, got, they, make they made a good defense well, so. tougher. Yeah, and yeah. then, you know, yeah. so Kyle Lowry is, is you, proven, they got some, tried you know, and true. They balling. So it's gonna, it's, That's not enough, though. NBA is fantastic. We say it all the time. It's not enough. It is. We say it all the time. But it Looking won't be enough for next year. So mm-hmm. moving on to the NFL. You know, last year the question was, is Aaron going to remain in Green Bay? Mr. Rogers? Yeah. He said, call my boy Cobb and I'm coming. And they called him. Cobb's in. And oh, Aaron was in practice. We got my buddy. <laughs> you know, Aaron, make some state form commercials. Aaron, Aaron got a ring too now. You know, Aaron yeah. got a basketball ring. You know, he Aaron part Rogers. Of, he yeah. part owner of the Milwaukee Bucks. He part owner of the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, yeah. Oh, so yeah. I'm, I'm Aaron. I'm going in there like, look here, Jack. I'm the one that makes smart decisions. He said, hey, I, I, got <laughs> I got a ring. I got a ring without you. I got a ring without you. I got a hold of Yeah, he that guy. I'm that guy. You won't listen to me. <laughs> I'm, I'm sport. Y'all in here got I'm that no guy. This is how you win. You gonna, you gonna I'm the freak me. over here, man. <laughs> I'm that guy. I'm the freak over here. So, yeah, no, yeah, he's so that he, guy. He's back in Green Bay, man. Green Bay, we ain't gonna let Aaron Rodgers go. You can't let Aaron Rodgers go. That's a bad man. No, he was yes. either he was gonna retire or not. Exactly. Because yeah. they're not fucking letting him go. At, no. at, at all. No. And then the thing I'm about Aaron Rodgers, again, that's why he got a ring somewhere else. I feel like he understood financially with Green Bay. If I don't play, y'all hold everything up here. It's going Shot. to plummet. Everything up here is going to plummet. So y'all got one decision to make, yeah. which is make me happy. Or your entire Wisconsin, everything is just going to... Economically, yeah, it's gonna go down. Yeah. Like literally, economically, it's gonna go down if I don't say. Nacho it was it nacho and everything? It's nacho cheese no more. Yeah. Nacho money no more. I'm nacho, motherfucker. Like, <laughs> yeah, bro. I so get that. Carson Wentz. We go to Carson Wentz. He he's got out five to twelve. Five to twelve weeks. What kind of time? That boy had a lot of injuries, man. Yeah. Timely injuries. Yeah, broken, broken bone in his foot. Timely injuries. Right. Yeah. Do not call Slick Nick, dog, because hey, hmm. that'll be the end of Wentz talking. End. That's big dick, Nick. Hey, 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 hey we're gonna come in slagging that thing. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 don't want. Hey, you don't want that guy <laughs> in the meeting room with you. Yeah, bro. Cause, <laughs> hey, Slick Nick, dog, like what I like to call him, man. Hey, you don't want him coming in the building in Indy because he will take your job, dog, and take your woman. Ain't gonna mm. <laughs> hey, ain't come back. That's 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 real that, is a, that's that is a hard day. Like, that's, that's I lost my Both. job and my woman. Yeah, yeah, so I was yeah, working yeah, to yeah, take your yeah. hook, too. You know? Oh, I'm right. like, right. I don't like no more. Right. Right. You only got out of Indy is what we're saying. So, right. you better come back quick. And then my boy Dak, man. God, leave. Wait, what happened? Yeah, he going so he's got, he's got strain, a strain in the show. Strain. It's a strain. Strain in the show. He'll be all right. So. He'll be all right. Why? Be right. Yeah, man. Why? Because yeah, why? Because why? it's football. He needs to go, he he needs shit, to go get that quarter Shit happens like he did. on a regular yeah, fucking basis. It's just football. what it be like, bro. He's going to be back. I'm thinking he that gonna one be good. injury causes another injury is what I'm thinking, just from overcompensation. There it is right there. It was okay. his left foot, right? It was the uh, I think it was the left ankle. Yeah. No, the left ankle, right? Yep. Yeah. Kink. Mm-hmm. And now the right shoulder's out, right? Yep. Oh I'm yeah. It typically all, happens all, like that. that I, that, yeah. You know, by yep. being a trainer, but yeah, that was destined to happen. It's, yeah. Your, Some on the right side. Some on the right side. Yeah. Some on the right side. And then you know what? The Sometimes these blue checks and white coats just want my green money. Absolutely, yeah. bro. That's it. That's and they're not gonna help me get back out there for real. Yeah. You, you need to you need to get hooked up with somebody that's gonna tell you stuff you don't want to hear. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> if they, if they don't, yeah. they don't hurt somebody, your feelings, sometimes there you go. Yeah. yeah. You need somebody to be like that. Yeah. 
Yeah. Guess what, Jack? <clears throat> yeah. You ain't gonna be able to do nothing for next year. I'm telling you why. <laughs> yeah. We gotta restructure all of this, every yeah. last yeah. bit of it. So yeah. you can go tell them this and that. Your money gonna go down. Why? Because if I don't fix all of this, the minute you yeah. go back yep. out yep. there, you ain't worth wow. nothing. Baby, baby, glad you got that guaranteed Man, 96. That guaranteed. How much it is, dog? Because that, that other 50 is up for grabs, dog, if you don't get it right. <laughs> tell you that right now, dog. Jerry ain't playing no games. He ain't. He Jerry, ain't. Jerry ain't he playing is no business, games. He's a businessman. So, man. moving on, right? He's NCAA, a some, some mm. beautiful things are happening. Right, that NIL for one, but we're not going to talk about that today. Yep. Get money. Get your money, young <laughs> bug. Hey. hey, I don't know about the kid from South Lake Carroll, though, man. I you do. Going in senior year. Fuck that you shit. You agree with him? Hell yeah. yeah. Take your ass to college. Hey, Look no, at that man, money. The point of school is to get a fucking job and make money and provide for your family. True. No, no, no. No. The point of school is to teach you to be uh, a cog in a wheel. <laughs> part of the machine, man. I don't know how that works. Point, point, right. point of school is to train you to be a wheel. That's good. I love it. <laughs> so no, no, no. If, you, if you compete like that, yeah. go, go get the money. Go get the money. Yeah. All day long. Just, All just, day long. Just, hey, listen, I'm, hey, I've been saying, they doing the Olympics. Right? My young buck's 17 years old in the Olympics right now. Right? right. Got four places in the 200. What's the difference with my man's saying screw senior year? Or even, oh, in, the, day, day even day. in the even in the acting world, a couple days. You know in what the acting world, the yeah. Sure. Rapping, <laughs> yeah. whatever it might. You be. have those type of talents. Yeah, oh. you're exceptional. That's the point. Go get your That's money. The point. Yeah. You don't need us no That's more, dog. Right? Hopefully you come back and get this. You ain't a uh, a brick, a rock. You know what I'm saying? Can't think without this talent. But you mm -hmm. know, and you also want to learn how to use your money. Right, yep. so yeah. you ain't getting that in school. In school it, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not getting say. that in school either. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You're <laughs> not getting that in school either. <laughs> Fuck no. I mean, let's, all right. So, in in all your schooling, yeah, what did you learn from K through twelve that you use today to live? To live, I mean, it's quite a bit, but you know, I don't. I mean, not not nearly as much. I don't remember exactly. I was about to say. I think the main the, question should be: Do you remember anything from K through twelve? Yeah, <laughs> you know, like. Do I you? can't tell you now one of them battles, yeah. right? Rules and, and government, some of them, right? Science, I could give a damn about chemistry, yeah. right? Hey. Math and biology. Hey. Hey, I'm, that, what, I what, I, ma I, what math I, are you used today? I, what math are you used today? Basic. <laughs> Counting basic money. Math. You know what I'm saying? Common denominator. This is how much I got. Is, this is how you much know. my bills are. <laughs> yeah. This is how much I got. Yeah. I so, need more of this. Yeah. Than that. <laughs> angles. So, yeah. Angles. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 So the sum and sum. Out here. You know, in math, the Big 12 wasn't good enough. The Big 12 <laughs> yeah. was less than the, the SEC. The SEC. <laughs> so yeah. they, you team, so here's the problem. Here's you the to solution. The there it is. So there in 2025. There you go, right there. And see, now with the Big 12, it's be less than. So here's another problem. Here's the problem on the table. How do we get there before 2025? Man. Now that's not gonna happen. How right? So USA track, I'm asking you off jump, man. What the what's going on? We used to dominate. But I think we kinda already covered that topic. Understanding all the red tape that our athletes must go through versus, you know, somewhere yeah. else that doesn't yeah. have as much red tape. So that answers yeah. a lot of those questions there. Right? We already talked about the Jamaican women sweeping the hundred meter. I thought you were gonna be disappointed, but you already called no, it I out. I already called that. Mm -mm. I already called it out. out. Yeah. Right? But mm -hmm. at the same token, I gotta make sure that people understand that it's not the athletes, okay? It's yeah. not Shakiri. It's not Shakiri's. It would not have been Shakiri's quote unquote fault if she would not have meddled. Just right. like it's not, it's none of the Team USA people fault at all. The thing that I keep doing with race take is trying to people understand track and field is a sport like any other sport. We need to be looked at the exact same way. Mm -hmm. yeah. If a team keeps losing, it's the coach. It's the coaches. It's the coaches. Oh, it's not, and then again, it's not even really the coaches. It's the front office. It's yeah. like, you know how people would say, well, the Cowboys never win until they get a better front office. Yeah. Yeah. We are the Cowboys. We, Look at it this way. That's sad to hear. Tokyo is on the other side of the planet, yeah. right? <laughs> now, if you use just basic math, they got there on Monday. The game started on Friday. So they're just getting Do the math with yeah. the amount of time zones they crossed over. Yeah. They still ain't there yet. So why wouldn't they go earlier? Is that right? coaches? Office. Reason, if oh. I can, and I blame the athletes, too. I'm like... Okay, well, I'll tell you what. You ain't got to buy me because Team USA pays for everything. Yep. You ain't got to fly me from Dallas. Just fly me from Paris because that's where I'm going to be at waiting on y'all. It really ain't got nothing to do with performance and hands. So the other, the other whoever's winning the golds in those meets will take the 100 mm -hmm. and whatnot. 
they got there earlier or they were closer? These, are, these is the so when you look at something like the men's hundred, the men's hundred was weird because it actually was kind of a, a anybody's race because nobody was really all over the jet lag. Like, yeah. But they, that, were, there me, were a lot that, of athletes that says that, a level that playing that field. That. We're all here, fucking jet lag, and we're just fucking the rolling. Yes, but I know for a fact there was a couple of countries, a couple of athletes Norway's that, closer, that right? was not there. They were stationed in Stockholm. They uh, were stationed yeah. in freaking Paris. I, I, I know this for a fact. Yeah, they were stationed. Waiting to be Using let in. Using those old tactics yes. to be prepared for the Olympics. And Did they prepared. win? Yeah. Some of them. Yeah. Which one? Who, who won? I'm not uh, who won the men's 100? Jamaica? Jamaica won the men's 100? Oh, about 100? Oh, no, no, no. So the dude that won the 100, he actually trains here. He's in America. here? Yeah. Yeah, he trains in America. But he didn't run for America, right? No. Oh, that's why half that medal is ours. I keep trying to tell everybody. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> not, <laughs> y'all not going to keep training on the hill. Who's that? And then go rip the whole country in the hill. That's that? why half that medal is ours. Italy. Italy. Uh, Italy. Uh, Italy. Oh. Italy. That what boy in El Paso, man. Are you kidding me? Austin. <laughs> <laughs> he, went, he was like two years old. He went there. I got, I got, I got Italy in my blood. There's a race I want to talk That's about. That's hilarious. We're going to talk about that Drago in the 400 meters. Sub 46. First time ever in a, 40, in a 400 meter hurdle. Right? Did you watch this race? No, I didn't. So. What? We got the favorite. Well, no, I think this other guy was the favorite. He's beat his times all year. Warhol I saw, was the I favorite, saw Megan. Right? From, I saw from, Megan. From, from Warhol no was the favorite. From no way. So okay. if you watch this race, yeah, I've never seen this in a 400 hurdle. You know, that last stretch of what, about 30 yards, is it maybe? 30, 30 meters? After that last The last hurdle. stretch of 30 meters, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a drag out. Like, Just, uh, oh, yeah. I'm struggling. Yeah. This cat accelerated and ran the first ever sub 46. Our guy from America broke the record and got a silver. What? Broke the world record, right? And got a silver medal. He accelerated. This, um, this young man the line. accelerated after the last hurdle and ran a 45-400 hurdle. Ran like a 45-9. How, 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 how much he beat nine. the record by? He obliterated the record. Watch this. This this, make, this, this will put it in, into perspective. Yeah. The open 400 with no hurdles. Yeah. Do you know the Olympic standard qualifying oh, time shit. is? Oh, shit. 45. What he did damn did? <laughs> over hurdles. Forty-five. Forty-five. No hurdles. hurdles. <laughs> when, uh, what he did? Forty-five flat, bro. Do I was, even run yo, I was in the Olympics. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for putting it in perspective. That yeah. shit's insane, bro. I was thinking about like, like that's insane. Like, that's insane. I was like, bro, that's insane. Why did he not run the open four hundred? Oh, that's insane. That's insane. Yeah, to that point. Why did he run the open four hundred? He might make a run at that forty-three. Forty-five nine with hurdles. He might make a run at forty-three. That's insane. And I, thank you for that. You know, when Michael Johnson, shit. when he ran that 43, he long, tall guy, sleek, slender. This dude, short and bulky, dog. Bro. Holy shit. I've been watching track and field a long hurdles? time. Like, that's, yeah, what, yeah. that's what I ran. I ran hurdles. That's right. I, I, mean, I was I, a hurdle I, I guy. I thought he was on that Drago. That shit is. Man, look. I thought he was look, on that Drago, dog. I'm going to say two things. And they ain't caught up with him yet. One. That's impressive, bro. He been on yeah. that level all season. He's, he's not a joke. Let me just put that part out there. Yeah. Like, so he's he been he's pressing that pressing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He been pushing right there. Pushing 45. Pushing right 45. But to accelerate after the last part. hurdle, bro. Get to that part. Now, the times are coming from the track. Yeah. Okay. The track. That's why it's so many records being shot. It's real time. Yeah. The track. No, no, I'm saying the times that okay, they run. Gotcha, gotcha. That oh. track is it's gonna sticky. Is it you, sticky? If you go, no, it's Mondo. Okay. If you go run right now, if you go to Green Hill and run 100 meters, and we'll just say you run 10 9, right? Yeah. Right now, dressed in what you dressed in. Yeah. If we could send your body right to Tokyo and you do the exact same right behind that, with two weeks preparation, no, no two weeks preparation. <laughs> Get literally, if we can zap you from Green Hill to Tokyo, your ten nine. When you hit it again, it's gonna be ten six, ten seven. Wow, that track it's they a fast track. It's, so, they, so it's a performance enhancing track. It's a performance enhancing <laughs> track. First of all. Now let's get to that. Over get the, the shit out of here. They got some bounce up under that track. Fine. Get back to you. Yeah. 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 Wow. Now that okay. last thirty meters. Actually, did you know on my show, the mm -hmm. last one t I, I had already told everybody how the race is gonna go because I've been watching them all forever, like yeah. Warholm and and um uh, and Rye. Rye, yeah. he's the American guy. Yeah. I said what's gonna happen is at the one twenty marker, because Rye's on the inside. 
that's where he going to win it. Why? Because yeah. Rod going to kick. He always kicks that one to one. I said, yep. if he stay right there, he going to catch him. And guess what happened? He started catching Rod him. Rod kicked. He started catching him. And then mm. guess what Warhol did? For Not so fast, my friend. Somewhere out of space balls, he found a whole nother <laughs> nother. He found a seven, eight. And I'm years. like, wait a minute, Jack. He so he did catch him? Two, two no. three, and four, he got five. Close. Six After gears. That last hurdle. Six yep. gears, bro. After that last hurdle, he the eighth gear. And, and when I when I compare black and white people, it's literally only based off genetics. Okay. Yeah. Genetically, we are faster because our muscles are shorter. Yeah. That yeah. makes us be able to have quick twitch fibers, and we can jump higher. That's yeah. just what it is. Genetically, white people they have longer muscles, so they can go more. Yeah. He should have had the oxygen. Okay. We, I think I think we yeah, actually he, represent he, that pretty well yeah, in this group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah he should have had the oxygen. I'm a, I like but evidence. What you, <laughs> what you want me to believe? 50 miles of running right here. I'll never run 50 miles in my life. In my life. Ever. 50, 50 in a meters? In a Done. Done. No. <laughs> right. what, 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 what you want me to believe is over this last hurdle, they come in. Neck and neck. And this is why I like to say, I tell people, man, just just whatever you think. What you After think. Warholm started the race off in the full sprint, okay. right? They coming over the hurdle, neck and neck. And I'm I'm big on mechanics. Y'all know that. Yep. His chin is up. His form is not here. How in, how? Soon as Ryan and then come up that last hurdle, I say, oh, there's no way he going to win now because Ryan is finna kick. That's a natural black yeah. person. Like, we got speed. Wait. He, you got, where, no, 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 no. <laughs> you don't have that gear, sir. Like, did you see, nothing did you like see what the she, women's 400 meter hurdles? Yeah, though? I got to give yeah, a shout out. I did. Oh, yeah. yeah. Man. She killed, That's bro. crazy. I'm yeah, talking about bro. Sid and the Lilla. And then, yeah. I'm going to tell you like this here. I love the fact that they both are beautiful. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm pointing out that. Yeah. No, my, no, my baby sisters, they know That's I love this. Oh, yeah. Her and Delilah and Muhammad the, yeah, coming Delilah through that thing, breaking records. Yeah. Yeah. You got you got Emmy Nils, you yeah. got Dark, and then you got the light. It's yeah. just like, oh, oh man, yeah. run that again. Right. <laughs> run that back. Run that, that back one more time, time, man. Run yeah, that back one more time. That was a great race Yeah, that Yeah, that was a beautiful race, man. Like that was, I was so hyped. I don't know if y'all seen my what's name. I was so hyped for that. That race man because yeah. i knew i knew they were gonna break the record i knew both of them were gonna break yeah. it and the That's fact that they go at each other so yeah, hard buddy. and hard and broke it by half a second broke second. her own record yeah. by yeah. half a second half bro a second. that's that's half work. a second and she what ran three races this year mm -hmm. that's uh is that how you're supposed to do that's it? how that's how you're supposed that's to it? do it that's another that's good coaching why, right that's another reason why team usa keep not getting medals it, Telling us, you know what time it is. No, it's our favorite time. time. I don't even know what time. It is. I know what right. time, <laughs> baby. Over the summer, Google DeepMind. Yeah. They are releasing every every protein that they've ever been able to structure. They're they're releasing the 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 physical structure of it to Molecular. to the public, which is. Interesting from the from the point of you know like intellectual property and all that, but the the real interesting thing there is they have that, and they have taken same project Google DeepMind has been training this training this AI system this machine learning system on games, and they're now com confident to say that that it's that they have what they call generally capable agents, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is to say that that they can take this this piece of software plug it into basically any video game or anything that they can simulate, you know, and feed the feed the inputs into it and get output from it. And and it can it can win. It can compete at least. Yeah. So pretty much Space Jam. Kinda like kinda like Space the Jam. The newest. Yeah. Yeah. Like what? what you used to have to do, still have to do for most things, is you have to take a huge amount of, of information, huge mm -hmm. amount of data mm -hmm. and feed it into this piece of software yeah. to train it. Just yeah. like just like a person has to train, you have to train and train and train and train. You got an input to get output. Right, to get output. Mm. Well, what you used to have to do on machine learning systems, you have to get very tight parameters of what what you train it on. Yeah. So it'd be very strict about what what you're feeding into it, and then you have to have something that you're using it on, something that you're applying it to, mm -hmm. that's also very similar, very tight parameters that are close to the same very as what you train it on. Language. Right. What Google DeepMind is doing is they're saying they're saying we're, we're not even talking about training anymore. We've done all the training. Anything you can throw at it, 
it can find a way to work work its way through. And it will problem it. solve. Mm -hmm. wow. It will solve the problem. Yeah, yeah. It's understanding the parameters. And the way we were talking about That's problem solving earlier, yeah. right? Of, yeah. of using math yep. to to solve problems yep. to say, huh? I've seen how this works here. Yep. I see a problem that looks kind of similar to that. Let me try it. Mm -hmm. It's exactly. It. It's doing exactly. And exact it can same try it. Dang. And it can a thousand and different ways in a matter of like ways and just yeah, that that's that's amazing. Insane, Got really right. amazing. Now yeah. they still can't recommend shows that I want to watch on Netflix consistently. <laughs> no doubt. No. But ninety four percent. Yeah. <laughs> what you want to see? Yeah. Hey, uh, you guys, you guys have all worked on on a team, a group, so, a group or yep. something. Common when goal. you're working on something, yep. especially interest. especially a team sport or, or something like that, where you're working towards a common goal. Yep. You get in sync, right? Yeah, absolutely. Like, like a good team, a good team. You start to get to the point that you like, like yep. you can, you can, Same beat. you can do the, you can do the, the no look pass. No doubt. Yeah. And I know and where no, you're going to be. Gonna, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What they're saying is that not only the, not only, you know, when they, when you say I'm getting in sync, you know, we're getting in sync as a team. It's not just like you're not physically, like your brain waves actually synchronize. Like mm -hmm. chemical, like. Is this like some chemical stuff? Is it just like the it's, way? It's electrical. Yeah, yeah. Electrical. Really? it's electrical. Wow. And and what they're saying is that like there's no. This particular research paper was saying that, that like this happens, even when it's not something like you know you can imagine if you're running plays over and over again. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. like okay, well we just know we yep. just know because we keep running this play Repetition. over and over again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Says what they're saying is. Even if you're not doing the exact same activity over mm -hmm. and over again, you get in sync, like your brain waves start to get synchronized at that electrical level without there being a, a strictly repetitive physical thing. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So so, what, so they're saying that, that, like, we don't even know how that happens. Yeah. Because, like, how does that, how does that, How's that brainwave know? Like it's one thing to say, one okay, band, we're running, we're running, sound. yeah, we're running the same, we're running the same yeah. play over and over again. Yeah. We're playing the same music over and over again. But they're they're saying that's not what that's not it. It's not just that you're doing the same thing over and over again. So mm -hmm. everybody's synchronizing on that. No doubt. They're saying, even if you're not doing the exact same thing over and over again, you you can get to a point that your brainwaves just just synchronize and. It just happens. Yeah. yeah. And they have and they don't know how that's that chemistry. works. It's actually yeah. all chemistry. Well, it's weird they yeah. don't know how it works. I, I, think think some... I think that's a bunch of bull crap because <laughs> what you're saying is actually factual. So I'm a big I'm a big history informational buff. high school what buff work, right? Yeah. So what I had learned about, um so they did an experiment and this is all Google researchable. They mm -hmm. did an experiment with monkeys and people, right? Mm -hmm. As they always do. So what they what they did was they was they was they noticed that um it was actually off the coast of Africa. Um, there were coconuts, right? And then they couldn't coconut. figure out how to get the coconuts down, right? Yeah. And then every time they got the coconuts down, it was getting dirty. And then the elderly people was couldn't figure out, like they wouldn't eat it because it was dirty. So then it was like um, a couple of the younger generation, whatever, they started taking the coconuts to the water and then washing it off, right? Oh yeah. And yeah. so then what they found out after doing research was they found out that monkeys that was all the way on the other side of the world start doing the exact same thing. Like literally they they started mm -hmm. taking their coconuts to the water or whatever and washing off and yeah. they couldn't figure out how in the hell like how did you know that? Yeah. Right. So they started doing an experiment on people, right? So they say they took um they took like twelve people and they locked them in a room in England, right? Yeah. And they showed all these people one image, right? And asked them what did they see, what did they see. So they all gave different versions of what they saw, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So then they went back to another um, country. It was like Morocco or somewhere, mm -hmm. and they kept showing twelve people the exact same image over and over and over and over again, right? Uh -huh. So then they went back and got those same twelve people in England, put them back in the room, and said, "What do you see?" And immediately every one of them saw the exact same thing. And they was they, in the documentary I was watching. Then was pretty much explaining how, yeah, what you're saying, like our brain waves can link mm -hmm. up no yeah. matter what, like um, per species. Yeah. So that's mm -hmm. why it's like we can get in sync without even having to get in sync because we're the same species. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Birds can get in sync because mm -hmm. birds around the world know to fly south, but who the hell told them? Mm -hmm. yeah. right. It's like one bird was like, you know what, it's too damn cold up here. <laughs> yeah. Let me see what's I'm down here. <laughs> and then when he kept doing it, everybody was like, man, I feel like it's too cold. So. Right. It's weird that what what, what you're saying. I'm like, man, I 
I studied that stuff mm -hmm. like three years ago, and now yeah. they're. Well, it's but it's again how they piece people. They piece right. stuff to us when they give it to us, right, so yeah, that your right. brain don't get too overwhelmed. Well, but, and and I think I yeah. think it's the like there's a there's an establishment that doesn't want to accept certain things. Yeah. But like if you yes. think about think about this exactly. like when like 1600s Isaac Newton. That's the one we remember is inventing calculus and a bunch of other stuff. Mm -hmm. But there was also Leibniz and two or three other people that were doing very similar things at the exact same time mm. that nobody had ever done. Nobody before. talks about. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody. And, talks and about nobody that. had ever done before. Mm -hmm. Einstein. We remember Einstein for coming up with general rel relativity. Mm -hmm. But at the same time that Einstein was working on that, there were half a dozen other people around the world that were working on the same thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was first. He just happened to be first. Yeah. But, the, but but at that same time, there was all these other people yeah. who were who were working on the same thing <laughs> right. that nobody had ever worked on before. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then you know, and then we had have computers, and then we have these other things. All these things that are happening, and all these people are working on them at the same time. Stuff that nobody's ever thought about doing before. Right. But all of a sudden, somebody over here is thinking about it. Somebody yeah. over here is thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah. And evolution. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's, there's, you know, I mean, I, I have a slightly different take on, on it, but, but the same concept mm -hmm. is like, there's, there's a right time for things to happen, yeah, mm -hmm. and they're gonna happen whether you do it or I or do it, it or yeah. Einstein yeah. does it. When yeah. the time is time. right, yeah. it's yeah. gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. somebody's gonna yeah. do it. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Oh, and for by sure. the way, uh, my mom said that just mercy is actually based on a true story in Alabama. Okay. Oh, right on. Nice. Right on. Yeah. Right on. Nice. Uh, nice. Just, just yeah. mercy. The, 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 is that the movie y'all talking about? Yeah, the movie y'all talking no, about. No remorse? No, yo, no remorse. She yeah. said it's uh, no. based off of a true story in Alabama. Oh, Just Mercy. That's a different one. Yeah, saw just, just Mercy. Yeah, yeah, just That's great. That's with uh, that's awesome. Fox. And, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I saw that. That was great. That, that was also good. That's, that's the attorney? Yeah. 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 When he was. Yeah, yeah. yeah he was right. an attorney from uh, Delaware. Uh-huh. They came down. for that. I guess she's saying check that one out. It's based on a true story. Yeah, that's great. Oh, she's saying. I saw that one. But talk about learning something in school now that she say that. Yeah. I remember my Mississippi history teacher told me that. Hey mom, man, that's way, yeah. whatever. Mr. Mr. Collins, he's yeah. Y'all yeah. say hi to my mom. Yeah, what's up? What's up, mom? I'm sorry. It was Mr. How Stewart. Doing, Mr. Stewart. How you doing, mama? Yeah. yeah. I'd have missed He'd, he'd be mad at me if I got his name wrong. <laughs> Just mercy. Yeah, 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 Coach Stewart. Rest, 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 rest in peace. Check it out. Yeah. Mama, please tell your friends to uh, subscribe to Noon. Yes. But, uh, yeah. but, yeah, I will. It's the right time for everything, right? It is. I think it's time. Right now, the right time is for us to say. Goodbye. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard. We've had it a great is. time. Hey, this has been good. Man, you have a good time hours? coming back, bro. Yeah, hey, it's still like 30 minutes, yeah. bro. Yeah, it went. That flew. Bye, yeah. There's no Bye, way man. we started at 12 and it's 2 o'clock. Hey, man, we started talking about some, that track, dog. And hey, hey. man, we just got out of here. Absolutely. Man, but, hey, that was great, man. man. Ray won't be back next week, unfortunately. But we got another great guest, Miss Lexi Drew, coming in the house, you know. Young, upcoming rap star. You know, the next, the first female Eminem is what I call it. She called nice. her. Nice. She little, called it. Little white baby Nicki Minaj <laughs> no. going on. Right. But that's right. what I'm talking about. We're going to see you next week in the right. house, man. It's going to yeah. be a good time. Good Jonas, time. coming with the hard stuff, tech talk. Mark, coming with the great information on everything else. You know what I'm saying? This guy's. I, I don't know what you're talking all about. Half man, half <laughs> I don't know what you're talking week. about. And I'm just J.A., man, but hey. I'm just finishing all my drinks, baby. We're going to you know see y'all next week. <laughs> we got this little sip of, hey, make sure y'all come back to Noonish. Feel like I'm the last man standing. Four, five, sitting on my dresser like a bandit. Oh, my, why you scared? There ain't no need to pay.